And please mute your phones um, or devices during um, this program. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I really appreciate. Hi, everybody. I'm Malati. Nice to see you all. So I wanted to start saying just the simple thing that we all experience stress in today's reality. And it's just everyday life um, at work. It can be at home with the family. So our inner mind, it's always something is happening. And it's, this can slowly cause many diseases. Stress now is proven by scientists that one of the cause for various diseases. And we're talking about heart diseases and uh, blood and many like mental diseases and so. So meditation and relaxation practices really help to tapping into parasympathetic nervous system. So if you are not familiar, there's a sympathetic and parasympathetic. So sympathetic nervous system is when we are, that's when we are stressed or things are really going and parasympathetic helps to really relax us and make our heartbeat be more healthier. So it's not really going fast. Although in some cases it's not bad to have your heart rate go when you, for example, exercise, but it's really important to also regulate in that case, in that matter too. So with, uh, we're gonna do some practices today, very simple that anyone can practice. So it's not gonna be on the mat yoga, although yoga really helps, but movements are really important. That's why yoga is so relaxing for a lot of people, because when we move in yoga, we allow the energy to move in the body and that actually regulates also our nervous system. So we'll start our practice today with very slow, gentle movements. And you can do these movements on your chair, if you're sitting on a chair, or if you have, um, like I'm sitting on a cushion, you can also have, you know, be sitting on the floor with a cross-legged position. If you have a chance, have something close by, have a um, pillow or some kind of support, maybe a blanket, uh, we can use that to support our lower back. Um, and when we continue our practices later on, that would be very beneficial. Okay, so you can choose to start this practice sitting on the chair and then move down, maybe laying down on the floor. Also, that could be an option or just stay on the chair. And there are practices that um, along the way, I will be reminding you some stuff that you can daily do at home by yourself and will help you to really make that nervous system, parasympathetic nervous system kicked in and allowing you to really relax and go to sleep better and just accomplish your daily chores better. So really, um, with yoga, it's recommended that we practice in the morning, first thing. So when you wake up and you use your, you know, go to the restroom, do your cleaning, whatever you need to do. And after that, before you go to your emails, before you go to your phone, TV, or any devices, if you can find just five minutes, no more than that, and sit down somewhere in a quieter place and just close your eyes and have your chest open and spine elongating so you have that alignment. And simply breathe, just watch your breath. It can give tremendous benefit. So just having that in your daily practice. All right, so let's start. Um, and then also you can incorporate those practices that I will be sharing with you today. All right, so if it's chair or if it's a cushion, make sure that you are sitting well and make sure that your pelvis 
is tilted forward. Allowing your shoulders to move towards your ears and then move your shoulders back and relax your shoulders down. We'll do those movements with the breath. Relax your arms and close your eyes for a moment. If you have a hard time to close your eyes, you can just softly gaze down towards floor. And start taking a breath, deep breath from your nose. And notice when you inhale, what is the sensation around your nostrils? When you exhale, is it different? Does your air that you inhale and exhale feels warmer or cooler? I'm just paying attention to the little sensations. And now let's collectively take a very deep inhale from your nose, allowing your body to expand with inhale and exhale slowly. Let's do it two more times. Inhale, expand your body, allow your chest to really rise up. Exhale, release, release your chest, relax your body. One last time. And just what we did now, those three deep breaths with our eyes closed can be your practice in the morning, just five minutes. And if you don't have your five minutes, you can do two or three minutes a day and then gradually grow the time. And you will see the benefits. It creates the space for your mind, creates the space in between that moment before you get into the stress or something happens, just kind of slows down this practice. And when you practice like that, so it slows down the process of getting agitated or upset. And a lot of times when you used to this practice, body remembers and mind remembers those breathings and those relaxing moments. And a lot of times it helps. So next practice will be just moving our body. So open your arms to the side and stretch your fingers really wide. And here as well, take a deep inhale from your nose and exhale, reach with the arms up. Stretch your arms up towards the ceiling and look up. Take another deep inhale here. When you exhale, relax your shoulders down. Keep reaching with the arms up. And then gently release your arms. Allow your shoulders to move towards your ears. Behind, relax them down. And then move your right head towards your right shoulder. Inhale. Exhale to the center. Inhale, move your head to the left. With exhale to the center. And relax. Take a deep breath again in and look up towards the ceiling. Move your head gently back. Don't go too far. Really listen to your body. Be wise. And then exhale, move your chin slowly towards your chest. 
Next time when you inhale, center your head. Reach with the arms again to the side. Elongate your arms, lift your chest up, look up. Exhale, hug yourself with your right arm above. Reach with your hands towards your shoulders. Next time when you exhale, round your back. Inhale, rise up. Move your elbows up high, maybe as high as your shoulders, feeling stretch, and then release your arms. Stretch them out, deep breath, and then allow your arms to come back with the left arm above. Hug yourself, squeeze yourself, Exhale, round your back. And deep inhale, rise up. And lift your elbows up. And release. You reach for the arms to the side and relax your arms down. Bring your left hand and place it on your right thigh or your right knee. It's depending what pose. If you're sitting on a chair, maybe it's easier to reach towards your right thigh and twist to the right. Initiate your twist from your navel area. So pay attention to your belly. So twisting from your belly to the right and pause. Move your head towards your left shoulder, keeping your body twisting to the right. And let's take here another inhale. Exhale. Move your head back towards your right shoulder. Next time when you exhale, unwind yourself towards center. Take a moment, close your eyes. Notice how your body is feeling. If there is any difference, any sensation, simply watch. Inhale, twist to the left. Keep reaching with chest up, allowing your navel area to initiate your twist. And then move your head towards your right shoulder. Just gonna allow our cervical spine to not engage as much into the twist. And then turn your head to the left. Another inhale here. Exhale. And then gently center your body. And one more time, close your eyes and just check, check with your body how it feels. Open your eyes if they are closed. And if you're sitting on the floor or on the chair, either way, just stretch your knees, stretch your toes, stretch them out and stretch your arms. Fingers are stretching as well. Stretch and release. Gently move your legs, wiggle them side to side. And then find very comfortable either sitting position on your chair. So allowing your knees and your feet to be hip distance apart so they are not crossed. <laughs> Use your, if you have any cushion, anything, you can place it on your lower back or maybe just sit on the edge of it. 
really allows to lift your hips a little bit higher and release maybe your low back. If you are not sitting on the chair, you can just lay down on your back and make yourself really comfortable. We're gonna practice a body awareness. So this is one of the most important practices. A um, lot of times people who struggle with anxiety, people who have panic attacks, this is the practice that helps to calm their nervous system down and really allow the awareness to be at the moment, at the place on their body. Um, and it releases, and that that's, has been my own experience a long time ago, but um, I speak from my own experience. So close your eyes and scan your body with your mind's eye. And bring your full awareness to your both legs. Stretch your toes, even if you're wearing shoes and it's not really allowing to stretch, stretch as much as you can. Stretch and stretch your legs. So extend your knees and then release. Now squeeze your toes as much as it's possible. Squeeze all the muscles on your body and squeeze your buttocks muscles. Squeeze and take a deep inhale from your nose. Exhale and relax. Relax your toes, gently wiggle your legs. Maybe you wanna leave your knees slightly bent and then forget about your lower body. Make it comfortable and let it be still. Ella, awareness comes to your upper body. Bring your full awareness to your belly and you can even bring your hands if you like to your belly. Take a deep breath in from your nose and expand your belly like a balloon. Expand your chest. And then exhale, release. And you can release from your mouth. Let's do it one more time. Inhale. Belly expanding, a lot of air coming in. A Little bit more air, expand your chest. Open your mouth. Empty your body from air and then allow natural inhalation to come in. Awareness comes to your both arms. Stretch your fingers out, stretch them, stretch muscles on your arms, maybe lifting a few inches. Inhale from your nose. Exhale and release. Now make fists, squeeze, squeeze your fists, squeeze your muscles on your arms, on your shoulders, maybe even squeezing shoulders towards up towards each other. Either way, squeeze, exhale and release. Really release and gently wiggle, move your arms, maybe rounding your shoulders, little movement here and relax, release into the most comfortable position. Make sure that your hands are resting either on your thighs or on a chair, or if you are laying down alongside your body. So let's take a very deep inhale again from our nose. Exhaling.
Awareness comes to our facial muscles. And this can be a little bit silly practice, but there are a lot of nerve endings on our face and our eyes. So let's stretch our eyes, open them really wide, stretch them as much as you can and look up towards your forehead. And then open your mouth and stretch it out. And you can stick your tongue out as well. Stretch, look up, exhale, release. Allowing your facial muscles to squeeze and come all the way in front of your nose, like trying to reach your nose. Prune face, squeeze. Eyes are squeezing tight, inhale. Exhale and release. Release your face, move your jaw gently, do any movement you like. Mm. And then close your eyes or gaze softly down. And give yourself a gentle smile. The smile releases any tension on your face. Gentle smile like Buddha has it. And now your body has moved and stretched and squeezed. So all the awareness of your muscles are detected in your mind. Now just let it be. Only your mind will stay focused. And with your mind, allow your leg muscles to relax. Bring your full awareness to your hips. Imagine your hips are really heavy. Let them sink down into your chair or on the ground, anywhere you are. Let them release. Have your awareness to your belly. Soften your belly. Soften your chest. Soften your lower back, mid back, and upper back. Allowing your arms to be relaxing down, relaxing elbows, wrists, and fingers. Awareness comes to your face and head. Relax your facial muscles. Relax all the muscles on your head. And notice your tongue. Is your tongue relaxing? Sometimes it's hard for us to find a place for your for a tongue to feel relaxed. So in yoga, we call it fire point. You can gently press the tip of your tongue inside of your upper teeth. That could bring some relaxation to your jaw and to your facial muscles. With your mind's eye, check everything on your body. Maybe I haven't mentioned any part on your body that really brings your attention right now. Regardless how it is, what is the reason of this attention? Trying our best not to judge, not to conclude anything. Simply acknowledge. And allow mentally to relax that part of your body.
Let your mind and awareness come to your breathing. Don't change anything. Simply watching your breath here as well. Notice. Notice the same way as we started today's practice, how it feels. Each exhale and inhale. Maybe you can travel with your breath how your breath is going into your nostrils, traveling all the way towards your lungs, and then back out, releasing into the world. And now awareness comes to our mind and to our thoughts. If you can identify the thought that comes to your mind, just sit and acknowledge and let it go. You can tell yourself, you come back to this thought later after the practice. And our thoughts will always come. We just simply can notice the thought and choose not to engage into the thought patterns. Maybe even finding a space between your thoughts. There's no thought, but there is a peaceful sensation right there. The peace is always within you at all times. Let's allow our awareness to come back to our breathing. And now we'll take a deep inhale, conscious deep breath, and exhale gently, wiggle fingers and toes. Move your body if you like to move, and maybe even stretch. Stretch your body and release, relax. In this practice, just simply watching and checking with your body each part also can be the practice you can use in the morning for self-care or in the evening before going to sleep. It really promotes relaxation. It promotes awareness that we are here at this moment. It's a way of meditation as well. One of the kind of meditation. So next practice, we'll do a breathing, diaphragmatic breathing practice. This practice taps in as well into your parasympathetic nervous system, activates parasympathetic. So it really promotes relaxation. And 
it is proven scientifically if you practice this breath from 10 to 20 minutes it doesn't matter what is happening in the world your body just your heart beat will regulate your nervous system will come down it is incredible so also just having awareness of diaphragm uh, diaphragm is really important in this practice and it takes time unless you're practicing a lot you might not feel that extent opening of diaphragm uh, diaphragm but with the practice you will get there um but just be patient with yourself right you always want to be really patient and you just want to slowly step by step take the practice so let's start bringing our right hand on our chest and left hand on the belly once more allowing the spine to be elongating so spine is open uh, tall shoulders relaxing you're sitting comfortably when you inhale from your nose with one breath expanding belly like a balloon expanding your rib cage so that's diaphragm expanding and then a chest is opening exhaling relaxing chest rib cage belly goes in air out the hands here are for that to really watch that progression of your expansion of your belly rib cage and chest and exhale release of chest rib cage belly let's do it together inhale from your nose expand belly rib cage chest exhale release chest rib cage belly in air out continue inhale expand belly rib cage chest exhale release chest rib cage belly do it at your own pace inhale expand Exhale, release. One more deep breath. Three part breath and release. Release your hands, place your hands on your um, chair or anywhere comfortably and we'll do one more breath this breath is also helping to relax your system your nervous system and also this breath helps to balance your right and the left hemisphere of the brain so you can bring your right hand and just make fist with your right hand and uh, let the hand face your towards your face and then bring your thumb to your right nostril. Exhale air from your left nostril. Inhale air from your left and then allow your ring finger and pinky to press to the left. Exhaling from your right. Inhale from your right. Press your thumb. Exhale from your left. So exhale, inhale from each nostril, and then switch. Exhale, inhale, pressing finger. Exhale, inhale. So do your breathing at your own pace. And now see if you can incorporate that first breath that we learned into this breath. So three part diaphragmatic breathing. When you exhale, release, inhale, expand three parts of the body. Exhale, release, chest, rib cage, belly. Inhale, expand, a lot of air in. 
and continue. Next time when you exhale from your right side, don't rush. You can relax your hand. For a moment, if you finish your practice, close your eyes. And just one more time, scan your body, check with your body how it feels. Can you feel any difference from the beginning of the practice and now? Maybe you feel more relaxed, maybe you feel a little bit more sleepy. But that's the indication of activation of your parasympathetic nervous system. To do your meditation practices, you can start with those breathing practices. So breathing practices help to calm your mind and it helps to be able to sit longer and just kind of um, connect with that moment when you can't not think about anything. Our mind is always thinking. That's not meditation not to think. Meditation is to be aware of thinking, that you are aware what you're thinking and then consciously let it go. And then the thoughts come and we again let it go. So that's the practice, constantly doing this uh, with your mind, with yourself. So and there are many other kind of techniques you can use if you have them already, but breathing will bring your state. It will ease your practice for meditation and relaxation and also the body awareness. So I will be concluding now our practice and I will give you guys some time to ask any questions if you have them. So I'll be happy to answer if I know and if I can share with you. So to conclude this practice, I will ask you to close your eyes for a moment again. And take another deep breath here. And if you like, Bring your hand on your chest and place your other hand on the top of your hand. And feel the skin, your own skin touching your skin. Maybe you can feel your heartbeat. And think of someone or something that you are grateful in your life. Think of that person, maybe it's a pet, maybe it's ice cream, <laughs> anything that brings you joy and you're grateful for it. And let's feel that gratitude. And with a deep breath, being grateful for that in our lives. Gratitude is a key to happiness. Thank you so much everyone for being here and allowing me to be here as well and share with you things that I personally enjoy and helps me in my life to be balanced and happy and as stressless as possible and healthy. So. Right, thank you. Thank, thank you. you.
Does anyone have questions for Malachi? I can you hear me? Okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> I just want to say thank you, but also uh, I I appreciate that you talked about um, not being able to not have thoughts because uh, a lot of what I've learned about meditation is that thinking is something, you know, you should, if you have a thought, let it go and kind of almost a punishing way of, you know, if thoughts creep in, it's, it's, you're not doing something correctly. And so I really appreciate your saying what you said about, uh, you know, thoughts are going to be there. Um, thank you. Thank you. That's a very good point. And I realized just the way that when you talk about meditation, the way the teachers teach, the way I teach as well, a lot of times it sounds like it and can be misunderstood that, oh, just find that space that doesn't have any thought and connect with that and stay with that. But that doesn't happen. It can happen, but it happens it's such a, sometimes such a little moment. It can be less than a second, something. And that's the wow, the bliss. And that's when you experience really, I have, oh, I felt it. But, you know, generally meditation is just practice. It's just practice of being patient and loving with yourself and practicing training your mind, training your brain, training your body to be still and to be forgiven, to knowing that the thoughts will always be there. They will come and go, just acknowledge them and just stay with them and stay still if you can. And also sometimes we can't and that's okay too. You know, I think it's really important if you do any practices to really be generous to yourself and loving to yourself for giving something sorry i shouldn't i said too much <laughs> no, no and i love it. it thank you so much for your time thank you thank you yeah thank you Malati, do you want to just tell people if anyone's interested in um your classes at Common Ground, you know? Yes. If anyone wants to know more about our program here. Yes, yeah, so Common Ground is, I've been there for almost more than three years now. Um, I love Common Ground because this is such a beautiful nonprofit organization that gives people opportunity, people who cannot afford to have affordable yoga meditation classes, their dancing classes, the variety of many fun things. And it's donation-based dropping classes. Also acupuncture and meditation, they're sliding scale. So you, there's a minimum payment and higher payment. You pay what works for you in between the scale. So I teach in Common Ground uh, I'm oh, every Monday from 6 p.m. until 7.15. And I teach yoga class. So there will be more movement on a yoga mat. And then I always end up with some kind of meditation or breathing practice. So we can conclude with that relaxation and mm -hmm. have that nice, <laughs> nice chilled uh, evening. <laughs> so um, yes, so if you're interested, common ground. Um, their website, our website is commongroundcivil.org. Yeah. And just to mention, Common Ground offers free acupuncture on Tuesdays now, really, 5.30 to 6.30. So if ever you're interested in trying, especially if you haven't tried it and you're kind of curious about it, it's a good way to try it um, for free to see if you would like that. We are also planning, or I'm planning to um, have a speaker next month speak specifically about acupuncture as well. Um, because I have learned from personal experience um, doing these therapies and trying um, these therapies, therapies for myself um, have been really helpful to me 
um, the relaxation because I didn't really think I could meditate. <laughs> you know, like um, someone said about the thoughts because the thoughts always enter my brain, but it makes sense that we can't stop thinking totally. It's very hard to stop thinking totally. So that is an unrealistic expectation. But I do think, you know, until we try some different things and learn how some of these other therapies um, can be very helpful and healing to us. Um, you know, you don't know until you try sometimes. Um, but um, from my personal experience, I've had very positive effects uh, from doing uh, Malati's yoga class. And one thing I'll say about her yoga classes, which I appreciate, is that some of the movements or positions that um, she directs us to get into, I can't always do that. And she always says, you know, if you can't do this, just, you know, she gives you an alternate, easier way to be able to do it. It's no pressure to like keep up with anybody or to do things that are painful. And she always says, listen to your body, you know, so if something is hurting you, then, you know, don't do it. Um, so I really do appreciate that because um, yoga was new to me. And I know when we're trying new things, sometimes it is, you know, hard um, because we think we can't do it or it might be painful or, or whatever. But um, I really do appreciate her patience and understanding and, you know, helping me sometimes, you know, with, with things, you know, she'll give a suggestion and it will be helpful in making it easier um, to do it. So, and I'm also a big fan of acupuncture, which I had never done before, and it has been really helpful to me. So I'm just finding that a lot of these therapies are really um, helpful and beneficial for a lot of our health ailments. And, you know, we haven't thought about trying them. And, um, you know, Common Ground does offer the kind of easier pay scale. Um, and then we, they do offer, um, you know, some free sessions can be arranged for people who can't afford uh, the services at all. So that is something that um, Sintera and Common Ground work together on um, to help people who can't afford some of these classes. Um, um, so it's I just wanted to bring that up. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely community uh, oriented place. So even if you can afford so, you know, there's always things will work out for mm -hmm. people. So I think that the, the most beautiful thing it, about it is that we want to, we are trying to help yeah. the ones are in need. Mm -hmm. And um, if there's somebody or somebody you know that needs to, they can just come and speak to us and speak to the you know, common ground. Um, mm -hmm and they we will find the ways there's always um opportunities and uh acupuncture is quite powerful practice yes, yes. and uh, i wanted to add about meditation so meditation can be simply that breathing practice that we just did three-part breaths if you can do that practice that phrenetic breathing you can just be laying on your bed and just doing this practice that's your meditation. If you allowing your mind, your mind will be thinking about something else, but you keep bringing your awareness to that movement of expansion of your belly, ribcage, chest, right? That's your focus. That's where you are practicing meditation. So it will bring you that benefit that meditation has, that relaxation and um, now it's like knowing that it rewires your brain even and it just makes a completely different chemistry is changing <laughs> so it's incredible i have to speak with my own experience i did have a uh, ptsd when i ended up like it was many years ago when i went for learning how to meditate and how to do yoga and all those practices and I was completely healed without anything else, just practicing those modalities. So it maintains your, it can help you to, if you have any issues, or it can also just maintain your well being and health. So for your <clears throat> mental health, of course, and for your body as well. But yeah. 
that's if um, I was gonna post the phone number for common ground. Um I was trying to look it up. What is it right off hand? Do you remember? I no, it's I think it's two one eight something. <laughs> I can look up right now. Maybe. Okay, I just wanted to put that on the chat uh -huh. if someone wants to call. All right, so Common Ground Healing Arts number uh, is 434. Do you want me to type on the chat or you will? I've, I've already got it here. I just need the rest of the number. <laughs> okay, 218. Okay. 7677. Seven six seven seven. Okay, gonna send that just so everyone has it. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. Yes. Any any concerns? Any? I would love to hear if someone felt uncomfortable or there was something that you felt during this practice or something that brought your awareness, okay, this doesn't work for me. Maybe there is a way that um, I can suggest if there is anyone who felt that way or wants to share their experience, please feel free to do so. Okay. Someone that had to leave early said they enjoyed this session, have enjoyed this presentation, so. That was one comment also that I didn't mention that was in the chat. Okay. Thank you. I guess no one else had, if you don't have anything else. <laughs> no questions, no concerns. Let's see. Thanks. Thanks. Great. Thank you for being no here, <laughs> practicing and learning, or maybe it was just something very familiar too, right? Mm -hmm. It was just something you enjoy, but yeah, yeah I uh, highly recommend. Yeah. from two to five minutes a day just find that time when you give yourself that's your time mm -hmm. it's so important for mental health it just one little thing that you can give as a gift to yourself every day find your moment when you can just close your eyes and stay with your breath that's that's all it takes sometimes well, thank you so much, Malati. I really appreciate um, you doing this for us. And um, hopefully we can have you back again. And certainly if anybody has any questions um, about um, how to sign up for classes or to contact um, Common Ground, please give us a call. Um, we have the number up for Common Ground uh, on the chat. And then um, my email and phone number is on the chat as well if anyone um, wants to speak with me about any of the program. And we did record the session, so it will be available um, on our YouTube channel. We have to download it and um, get it into the um, YouTube channel. So it may not be available until um, next week, but it will be there. So if you, if you have trouble or don't find it, just shoot me an email and I'll, I'll get it out as soon as I can. If there is nothing else, then we will let everyone go. And I do appreciate everyone tuning in and um, taking advantage of this great opportunity this evening. So everybody have a good rest of the night. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you for You're welcome. doing this. I'm so yeah. grateful to you. Thank you. You got me too relaxed because I got sleepy. <laughs> That's great. I saw some people yawning too. And I was like, <laughs> so I'm like, I'm guessing that uh, this is working good for me because I got sleepy there for a minute when I was you know trying to meditate and and being so quiet and still it did work so <laughs> that's wonderful wonderful have a great night you so, too so take great. care i see you, you soon bye see you soon bye good night everybody good, good night, night.